There is so much to love about this project. The views, captivating. The landscape wraps around the bay there. I'm proud of the outcome. Once upon a time, garden design was sometimes a bit of an afterthought, taking advantage of the aspect, particularly in a city like Sydney where there is such an undulating landscape, you really need to use the gardens to your advantage. When we were engaged to redesign here at Gordon's Bay House, it really just felt like the whole bay was there for you. But you couldn't really see most of the lower part of the garden. There was a series of retaining walls which were fairly sound, but we still wanted to take the attention away from those. So we set about planting a series of ground covers that would trail over the walls and climbers that would cling to the walls because we wanted the structure to disappear. It's a steep site which falls down to the water, so there's so much exposure to the winds, which obviously carry salt with them as well. We were really keen to work with succulents and cactus. Plants like that will only shine when they are combined with some of the softer plantings that we've used across the site, coastal plants, you know, the silvers and the greys that give us that coastal feel. From the upper terraces, you could see down to the deck that was down towards the water level and vice versa. And previously that connection wasn't there. I love it, I absolutely love it. And the more that we've spent time here, it's just proven to be such a beautiful home and great for our boys. I could just imagine them just enjoying Gordon's Bay when they don't need supervision and just running out onto the surf and doing what they need to and having that on your doorstep I think is just magic. My sister, Davina, has always really been our counsel in relation to our interiors and how we've thought about the house. She understands what we like, but we also really love her aesthetic. Warming up and modernising the interiors on the water-facing side and then trying to take what we've done to the street-facing side of the house. The facade was going to be quite dark, so we wanted to select plants that were going to have a real punch against the darker tones of the building. The garage rooftop garden is one of our favourite aspects. It was important that we made a strong statement. We were lucky enough here in the front courtyard of the formal dining area to inherit a small grove of olive trees. It was important to work on thickening up the canopy of these trees to provide Alex and Aidan more shade in this space. That place is quite contemplative and really quite beautiful and none of that was, was there you know, prior to Secret Gardens going through. They've just redone that whole space and area and the field is great. There is so much to love about this project. The views are captivating. The landscape wraps around the bay there. I'm proud of the outcome that the team at Secret Gardens has come up with. When they do make those little changes, it changes the entire garden for the better. So it's always nice to know that someone else is looking at your space with fresh eyes. 